Hey guys, let's build this job listing website in React. Now in this website, you will learn how to filter data based on different conditions and display it. Also watch this video till the end where I'm going to show you how you can build search component. As you can see here, whenever I select any options from these jobs, then only those jobs are displayed which contain these options or these keywords. This website is responsive for mobile devices. Now this is one of the challenges uh, from the front-end code mentor website. We are going to solve this challenge while learning a new methods of filtering data. So let's start this challenge and download the starter code files from here. Extract starter code. Here you can find images that uh, we have to use as well as instructions. It also contains design images which will help us to design our web app. Copy this image folder, style guide and data.json files in your React Apps SRC folder. I have already created a React app using a Create React app and it's up and running. Now let's install a library for SaaS called Node-SaaS. Make sure you are in the right directory. Check version of Node-SaaS if uh, you are not using a latest Node.js. Currently I am using a Node 14 so I have to install a version 4.14. Let's remove this stuff, uh, we don't need it right now. Change index.css name to index.scss and import it in the index.js file. Let's open a style guide. Here you will find all the colors that we need as well as fonts and background color. Open this fonts. For this design, we need fonts with the weight 500 and 700. So let's select it and import it in index.scss file.
let's make variables for colors provided in this style guide. Now let's add some basic styles. As you can see here in this design image, we need to add this header part. To create this header part, add a div with the class header. First of all, Let's create all components and SCSS files that we need. Create two folders, one component folder for all components and second is SCSS folder to store all SCSS files. Create a header component file. This component is to display keywords in the header part. Next is the jobs component which renders all jobs based on the data as well as modified data. Create one job component which, uh, which will display all the content of a single job. Now in the SCSS folder, create a main.scss file which contains our basic styles and create another files according to our components. Move everything from index.scss to a main.scss file and inside the index.scss import all the scss files starting from main.scss. Now let's add styling for the header part. And it's done. It almost the same as in the design image. Let's import data from data.json file. Also import 
jobs component where we will pass this data. After this div, let's render jobs component here and pass data as a props. Deconstruct data here in the job component. Let's log this data. As you can see here, this data contains one array of objects and each object contains all the data for a job. Create one div with the class jobs and import job component here. We will map this data and pass each object D from a data to a job component as a props. Now inside the job component, Create one div with the class job dash container and let's try to print company name as you can see here it is displaying the company name Copy this whole data object and let's deconstruct this data from props.data. Here we have to remove this new word because uh, it is already a registered keyword in javascript as per this design image we will create three divs first div is to display this logo second div is to show all this information and the third div which will contain all these keywords Now for the image, this logo contains part of a specific image, so add logo in the src of image. It would be better if we copy this image images folder inside the components folder.
Let's add another two divs. Now to display a new tag, we will render it only when props.data.new is true. Same for the featured tag. Now for this keyword, first a keyword is a front end which represents role, second is a label and other keywords are languages and tools. So we need this role, level, languages and tools. Let's extract all this inside one array called keywords. Use a spread operator for languages and tools because both of them are arrays. Let's map all these keywords inside the third div. As you can see here, we are getting all the data of jobs except the logo Im images. If you have worked with SVGs before, we have to import SVG first and then we can use it inside the src attribute. Now here we are getting a lots of SVG so let's import them dynamically. Create one state called icon and this state is to store source address of images. Create one function called import SVGs. Now we will import images using an import keyword. This import returns a promise. Now to get a data from this promise, let's use a then keyword. Just log this data and see what it returns.
we will call this function using use effect and add logo as input of use effect. So whenever there is a logo in the data, our function will run. As you can see here, it is returning a module and uh, module.default will give us the address of SVG files. Set icon state with d.default. And inside the image, instead of a logo, write icon state. Now we are getting the logo images. Let's add header and filter functionalities. Create one use state called filter keywords and this state will contain an array of keywords. Create one method called add filter keywords and pass the data as an argument. Using this method, we will add new keywords in filter keywords state. Check if this data is in the filter keyword state or not. If a filter keyword not contain this data, then we will add this new keyword inside the array of keywords. To add a data inside array, use a spread operator so that the previous data stays the same. Import header component. Now we will render this header component only when user adds new keywords inside the filter keyword state. So its length must be greater than zero. Don't forget to pass keywords inside the header component. Also pass add filter keywords method as a set keywords in the job component. Now from the jobs component, deconstruct the set keywords method and pass it to the job component. In the job component, on click of this button, use a set keywords method. Pass keyword key in the argument. So whenever user click on any of these keywords, then this method will add keywords inside the filter keywords state. Now in the header component, deconstruct keywords from the props.
create one div with the class header dash container. Map all the keywords here. As you can see here, whenever I click on any of these keywords, then it is displayed on the header part. Now in this design images, there is a close button attached with uh, each of these keywords. Let's add a method to delete a particular keyword. Create method called delete keyword and pass keyword as a as data. We will use filter method and exclude keyword which is the same as in the data and set filtered keyword state with new keywords. Pass this delete method in the header component. Deconstruct delete method from here. Inside the ally tag, let's add a close button. On click of this close button, use the delete keywords method and pass keywords as argument. Inside the button, add image which contains SVG of a delete symbol. and it's working great there is one more thing we need in header component which is a clear button which clears all the keywords let's create a method for that Create a method clear all. In this method, set filter keyword state with an empty array which will delete all the keywords. Pass this method to the header component. Let's add hold this thing inside the ul tag.
and uh, clear method as uh, shown here. It's working just fine. Let's see how we can filter data based on these keywords. Pass keywords in the jobs component. Let's deconstruct these keywords from the props. Now let's create a function to filter data based on a keywords. Create a function modify data and create one state to store filtered data. We will put a condition that if uh, there are any keyword, we will filter data as set filter data state with data coming from props. If a condition is true, then write const new data, which is going to be a filter data dot filter, which returns a data object D. We will check keywords dot every for every keywords and if d dot role is equals keyword or d dot label is equals keyword or d dot languages includes keyword or d dot tools includes keyword so this all the conditions return true or false for our object d for every false return we will filter out that particular data object Now set filtered data state with new data. To run this function, we will use use effect call modified data function here and we will run this function only when there is a keywords or a change in keywords occur. So pass keywords as an input to use effect. It is not uh, working for some reason. Let's change this condition and write if keywords.length is greater than 0.
now it's working let's remove this warning just uh, add a d.id as a key in here and now the warning is gone it's uh, working great let's start styling our app As you can see in this design image, there is a single dot like bullet point in between this text. Let's add these dots. 
You will find a lots of symbol here in the W3 school website. Just go to the HTML character set. Copy this bullet symbol. And paste it inside the span tag just like this. We need to add a spacing, so type ampersand and VSP and semicolon both this side. Now it looks good. Uh, let's style it. Let's change these buttons to a span tag. Now as per this design image, let's add a left border on a job which contains feature tag. For that we have to modify class name. Let's render it using a condition that if featured is true then class name is going to be chop dash container space chop dash container dash dash left border else keep on else keep only chop dash container. And it looks almost same as design. Let's add a box shadow.
Now we need to make this website mobile responsive. Now I'll be using a media queries in some places to make it uh, look same as provided in the design. Let's style our header component. Add class name, close on this button. Now the design for this header component is almost same as the job component so let's just copy its styles here and modify according to our needs.
Now our whole app is completed and working great. As I have told you guys earlier that we are going to build a search component. So let's create one component search.js Now instead of array, initialize filter keyword state with an empty string because our search input is going to be in a text format. Create a new method, set search keyword and set filter keyword state with data. Import search component here. Add search component. Don't forget to pass set search method. Here I am keeping a class name same as a header component so we don't have to write CSS for it. On change event, use a set search keyword method. Comment out this modified data function and let's create a new function for search. If keywords dot length is greater than zero, then filter data
here just for demo purpose i'm filtering only for a job po job position later you can add any different conditions I think I made a mistake. I didn't pass the props correctly. So let's check it again. We have to remove this header component. And as you can see here, it is working great. As I'm tapping any word, it's uh, shorting all the data based on the input. Now that's the end of this video. If you really like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.